there are three techniques to analyze the potential failure of one installation. The first one is uh, FEMEA, the second one is FEMECA, the third one is ERSIAN. Sometimes uh, people think that these three techniques uh, are uh, really the same technique, uh, but in different uh, deep level. And then FEMEA is the most easy way to analyze the potential failure, FEMECA is deeper, and finally RCM is the uh, deepest one. But this is not true. There are basic differences between them uh, that has uh, impossible to recover some information if you are analyzing, for example, FEMECA and you want to transform it, this analysis in RCM. For that reason, it is important to know very well which are the difference between uh, FEMEA, FEMECA and RCM. First of all, FEMEA is a uh, technique only to determine which are the failure modes, analyze the effect and determine what you can do to avoid uh, the, um, this potential failure. Of course, is the uh, easiest way to determine which are these potential failure. The standard that uh, regulate this uh, technique is uh, IEC 60812. According with this standard, it is necessary to determine the function, uh, which are the function uh, of the uh, equipment. There is no any uh, special way to indicate the function. After that, it is necessary to determine the failure, and a failure uh, is the no fulfillment of a function. And after, and this is the, the uh, one important point, is what is understood as a, a failure mode. Is the effect of the failure? Is the how the, the failure can be reflected? Which is the mechanism to uh, manifest uh, the failure? For example, uh, imagine that we are analyzing the integrity uh, of a um, uh, item. The function is to present integrity. The failure is uh, not present integrity. And which is the, the failure modes, uh, the different ways to not presenting uh, integrity. For example, uh, to present elements um, with bad fixation, uh, element uh, loses, element broken, element the deformed. Uh, what happened with the task? The task that, that you can do to avoid or to reduce the impact of the failure mode. You can do what you want. FEMEA don't provide you to any mechanism, any idea to how to select the, uh, this task. Second goes to uh, FEMECA, which is the difference. The difference is it is necessary to classify the uh, different uh, failure modes. It is necessary to analyze the probability. Uh, it is necessary to analyze the severity and the detectability three things to analyze according with this analysis and multiply the factor of every one of these aspects, you obtain a criticity level. Remember, first function, second uh, failure, third uh, failure mode, and uh, uh, with the failure mode, what you need to do is classify according with the criticity. And the criticity has three aspects to analyze. Detectability, probability and severity. What happened with RCM? RCM is regulated by another standard. It's the standard SAE uh, GA1011. The idea is basically the same. Uh, it is necessary to determine the function, but in this case it is necessary to indicate the function as a verb plus the action. Second, it is necessary to determine the failure, negating the function. 
for example, in the function, uh, uh, remembering the, the example that we uh, analyzed before, uh, imagine that you are analyzing the integrity function to present integrity. Failure, not present integrity. Failure mode, and this is the uh, one of the main difference. The failure mode in this case is not the effect uh, or how the failure can be presented. In this case, failure mode means a uh, cause of the failure. Remember, femea femeca, failure mode mean effect. Uh, in RCM, failure mode means cause. Which are the different causes that provoke the failure? This is the uh, failure mode. And now we analyze the failure. It is necessary to analyze the probability, it is necessary to analyze the severity, and uh, it is necessary to analyze the detectability again. How? It is necessary to multiply some factor, no? mm, uh, RCN, don't say anything about which is the mechanism to analyze the severity, uh, the probability, or the um, detectability. Second difference with RCM is that uh, uh, um, we have a mechanism to determine the task. After determining the failure mode, it is necessary to determine which task we can do to avoid the failure mode or to reduce the effect of the failure mode. RCM says yes, it is necessary to follow one decision diagram to determine which type of task it is necessary to carry it out. But the norm uh, don't say nothing about this decision diagram. You need to build this decision diagram and uh, show this decision a diagram and of course fulfilled it. In this decision diagram you need to determine when you are going to do a redesign, when you follow one strategy run to failure, when you need to do task according with the condition, when you need to do a task related with the failure searching, when you need to do a a substitution of the element or when it is necessary to do the refurbishment uh, of the uh, equipment. Remember this. The difference between FEMEA and FEMECA is that uh, FEMEA does not analyze the criticity. FEMECA analyzes the criticity. And the main difference between FEMEA and FEMECA and RCM is RCM analyze the criticity, but it, it is not important, the criticity level. It is not important to classify the equipment according with the criticity. You need to analyze detectability, uh, probability, and severity. But there is no any way to do that. You need to analyze by yourself as you prefer. The second difference between RCM and FEMEA and FEMECA is the concept of failure mode is different. The third difference, very, very important, is that uh, the tasks are decided uh, according with a decision uh, chart. FEMEA FEMECA has no decision chart, what you prefer. RCM has a decision chart to decide which type of task it is necessary to carry it out.